I will say the one thing you need to watch out for right now are these squirrels because they keep throwing acorns at me. Hey guys, the mountain that you're looking at right there overlooking Roanoke and the Roanoke Valley is called Mill Mountain. And the top of Mill Mountain, there is a star, which you'll get a good look at that in just a minute. In 1740, uh, an explorer named Mark Evans got a land grant for 87 acres that included a spring, which we now know as Crystal Springs, which actually uh, is Roanoke's, one of Roanoke's main water sources. Anyway, uh, Mark Evans' son actually built a grist and sawmill, and that is where the mountain got its name. So in 1890, as I'm driving downtown through Roanoke City, let you look at that. To the right, there's the Taubman Center, and then straight ahead, you can see the Wells Fargo Tower, which is the tallest building in Roanoke and I'm driving through the market area right now. It's a pretty, very pretty place in Roanoke City and it's bustling on the weekends. There's a lot of nice restaurants and some bars and things like that. But anyway, in 1890, Roanoke Gas and Water Company bought Mill Mountain. And then in 1891, they built what was called the Rockledge Inn. And this was a popular vacation spot. Uh, the inn is still there. Uh, I'll show you some pictures in just a second. Um, in doing my research, I did not know that there was actually a park up there, an amusement park that had a roller coaster and a pavilion and later on it had Mill Mountain Theater was up there. Uh, they actually had a tramway, well they called it the incline, that you could ride from close to this area right here, we're going up the mountain, to the top of Mill Mountain and the park. And you could go to the play and there was a, a motel up there called the Rockledge Inn. Let me show you some pictures. So here's a picture of the Rockledge Inn back in the day, and there it is just the other day. I took that. Uh, it's not open to the public, uh, but every once in a while they say they do open it up. So I'm going to look out for that and check it out sometime. Here's a picture of Bill Mountain back in the day on top of the mountain. And there's an old postcard that had all the, the amusement things that were at top of the mountain. And there's a picture of the incline. And there's the, the route that it took up the mountain. And there's, unfortunately, a picture of the 1976 fire, which destroyed the Mill Mountain. So the cable car lift called the incline was finished, I think, 1909. Might have opened up then or 1910. But then it closed. Uh, sales weren't very good. And so things... Uh, closed down about 1923 and so I never knew that it was actually there I thought it was pretty interesting to find that out so in 1941 Roanoke City acquired Mill Mountain from Washington and Lee University and they developed it as a park and in 1949 the Roanoke Merchants Association decided to create a star to overlook the valley and they were going to do this because they wanted to, to sort of kick off Christmas with this big star and it's one of the largest man-made stars in the world well actually it might be the biggest land man-made star in the world but anyway now there's a zoo up here and uh, some really great overlooks the star was actually lit on Thanksgiving Day 1949 it was uh, November 23rd and 
like I said, it wanted to kick off the holidays, but also they were trying to change the name of Roanoke from Magic City to the Star City. And today it's known as the Star City of the South, Roanoke, Virginia. history of Roanoke and the, this star overlooking the star city of the south there is also a darker side to the Mill Mountain Star. This area obviously was originally hab habitated by the Native Americans and then the settlers started moving in in 1740 and obviously this mountain which is now called mill mountain uh, was a great vantage point for looking over the valley the roanoke valley which is below also on this path right here Many people have seen ghosts or apparitions. Uh, there have been people that have been reported to have taken their life up here at the Mill Mountain Star. And so there is a darker side to this beautiful star. We're going to walk on this trail, which is called the Watchtower Trail. Now I moved here in 1985 and 
we have come up to the Mill Mountain Star many times and I've never felt anything never heard anything never saw anything so uh, that's not to say there aren't always strange and unexplained things that do happen anytime you're in the woods will say the one thing you need to watch out for right now are these squirrels because they keep throwing acorns at me it is a sign of the approaching fall because lots of things are falling The star's pretty awesome, but let's head back down into Roanoke City, and I'm going to take you down to the market, and we're going to go eat at one of my favorite places to eat in downtown Roanoke City, the Roanoke Wiener Stand, which has been open since 1916. The Roanoke Wiener Stand is always a treat, and it's the oldest hot dog stand in Virginia. It is so good, and they survived the flood of 1985. Look at that. It was pretty bad. They had to move locations. And there's my friend, Johnny. I used to work downtown. I'd come inside, and Johnny would say, want a hot dog, my friend? hot dog my friend of course behind the counter there's Gus Pappas who owned the store from from 1956 he passed away in 2016 he said he could make 25 hot dogs in one minute can you believe that well that's the legend and he made the Roanoke Wiener stand into a very iconic place mustard onion chili 
at the Roanoke Wiener Stand, which has been open since 1916. And to me, this is like one of the best hot dogs in the world. Very iconic place. And of course, crinkle cut fries. So good. So I ate my hot dogs and then I went on back home, but then I was at home and I thought, you know what, I better go back up to the star to get it when the star is lit. So we drove back up, watched the sunset, and let it get dark and look at that beautiful star shining over the Roanoke Valley. Mm -hmm. Stay. 